Hello and welcome to another episode of Growth Effects, where today I'll be reviewing Bandai's Shadow Trooper. Now this is the best artwork I have ever seen. It is so beautiful. You can actually see the Stormtrooper in it, all its glory, the Shadow Trooper, the different images of where... No, I'm kidding. It's literally just a glossy black box. There's nothing different at all. <laughs> this is kind of like... Wow. Very, very unique. I don't know. Moving on from that, let's get into the runners. So here we have the runners for the kit. It is exactly the same thing. There is nothing different about the kits. They are the same. So if you wanted to buy this particular kit because you thought maybe it's got like some spikes or something, you know, sticking out, it's got an alternative headpiece, shoulder piece, chest piece, weapon, whatever. No, it's the same. This whole kit, this whole runner is the same, the same here. Just that there's minor differences, at least a major one here and minor one on this one. Here we have the visor, which is in a cheap silver kind of color instead, like a plastic silver looking kind of thing. I will most likely change that to like a chrome color or if not, just a metallic silver of some sort. Uh, different from that, of course. And then here is the other one. This was supposed to be white for the regular Stormtrooper, but in this one, it's a glossy black. And this is like a rubber piece or whatever that goes on the side of the Stormtrooper there. So that's literally what's different on this runner. There's nothing else. So I'm just gonna move that off to the side. Uh, as for comparison over here, literally nothing different. In fact, let me put this on the other side over here. This one is the same all over. Just again, this is molded in a glossy black the way the Death Trooper is molded as well. The only thing, of course, that this is a Stormtrooper. So this is, or in correct case, Shadow Trooper. So that's the main difference between the two there. And yeah. So if you wanted to get this because it's different in the sense of it's got ex like different parts, added parts, whatever. No, there's nothing different about it. It's just the difference is the color. And I'm speeding around this because it's basically just reviewing the Stormtrooper, but a black version of it so yeah moving on from those standard base and poly cap thing so that's about all you get there instruction manual bandai did not even try to change this up at all and i'm sure it cost a little extra money to reprint this kind of thing in a different style or whatever but i mean yeah they could have at least shown what this looks like when he's finished you know it would have been neat but they didn't so it's the same exact thing like the stormtrooper in fact, this is from the other one that I have that I just showed right now, the, the runner. And uh, the, speaking of, the other one was missing the helmet because I'm in the middle of making a Battlefront 2 custom Magma Trooper thing. So that's why that one is there. But yeah, these are exactly the same. There's nothing different. There's nothing that tells you it's a Shadow Trooper. It's just, yeah. So that is the same. The only difference in this kit, though, is that it does come with this little thing. And it actually shows you where the decals go and what it's going to look like so this is probably like the only picture you have of more or less what it looks like when it's done sort of and yeah that's about it and after that of course we get the water slides but we actually get only water slides so that's pretty cool and kind of down bad i guess for those of you who like to use stickers here's the regular stormtroopers it's black black white and this is like a kind of a gray with a hint of blue in there that's basically it blue here for the side of the little vent things or whatever for the helmet and yeah that's pretty much it for that and here's for the shadow trooper so instead for these parts there they're inverted so we got white white black and in here instead of being that gray blue color uh this is more of a silver color so we get a silver for that silver here and everything there and then we have all this little bits too so it's a bit of a different kind of thing they're kind of doing a little different here so yeah it's nothing different from there it's the same thing just black not that there's anything wrong with that or anything but yeah it's a, it's a freaking awesome kit and i it's one of the reasons why i wanted to get it was because it was different i don't want to go through the hassle of repainting the whole thing and making it look glossy and you know shiny black so this is just like the regular stormtrooper but just now just picture this in a glossy black finish which i will do in the next video review again this one's missing his helmet because i'm in the process of um you know, doing this right now, making the customs and stuff like that. So this one just going to be a regular stormtrooper. There's not going to be anything different. So yeah, that was what I was planning on having this so I can have some photo shoots later on because I do plan to get into like toy photography kind of thing. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So just stormtrooper, but glossy black. And honestly, it's awesome. So I still say pick one up. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done because honestly, I'm getting a little excited. So Definitely going to start putting it together after I'm done with this recording and 
We'll see how it looks when it's finished. Thank you for watching, and this is Grey Wolf Effects, signing out.